Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to make this funny looking thing. This is a shuttle sweeper. This sweeper is great for cleaning up your court after you do a long multi-shuttle session where you have the shuttle scattered all across the court. This is gonna quickly sweep everything up into a big pile, making cleanup a lot easier. It's super light and you can actually sweep everything with one hand and it swivels. So it makes cleaning up way easier. To find lawn edging and a Swiffer and zip ties, we're gonna go to Home Depot. All right, as you can see, we have a lot of lawn edging here. Don't go for these small thin ones or the super big ones down here. Right here, the 60 feet of plastic lawn edging, $38. These are the ones to use, okay? All right, get the cheapest Swiffer that you can get. Swiffer Sweeper Base Starter Kit, $15. These are perfect. Okay, zap straps, find them in the electrical aisle. Get this one right here, eight inches. You get a hundred of them for $11. So here's everything that you need to make your sweeper. You have your lawn edging, your Swiffer, your four zip ties, a measuring tape, a battery operated drill with a quarter inch drill bit, pair of pliers, and some heavy duty scissors. Now, kitchen shears will work well. These are tin snips. They do need to be heavy duty because you do need to cut through this. Okay, we're all set to go. Quick measure of this Swiffer here. So it's around 10 inches. Okay, you want around 18 inches on either side to make sure that there is enough curvature and it's just not too long. If it's too long, it's just gonna curve too much and it's gonna be hard to sweep bird. If it's too short, it's gonna end up being too flat. So around 18 inches on either side. This is gonna go attach to the back. We're just gonna drill some holes and then we're gonna zap strap it all together. So right around here, it doesn't need to be very exact. Just make sure it's not too long and not too short. Around this long. So I'm just going to take the sticker off. Again, we don't need to be perfect here. We just need something that is quick and effective. We're going to attach the top end of the Swiffer to the back of the lawn edging. Now you can see the lawn edging here has two sides to it. Okay, there's one a little bit of a sharper edge and one with the round edge. We want the round edge to be on the bottom when it's sweeping so we don't scrape the court. As you can see, the Swiffer is a little bit bigger and you don't want the Swiffer to be dragging on this rubber end. I like to just match it up just a little bit higher than the round edge here. We're just gonna drill four holes on the back. So try to line it up as much as you can in the middle and then we're just gonna line it up and drill. All right, guys, as you can see, as I was drilling, the plastic crack, that's okay. It's still gonna be fine to use. I'm just gonna put the zip tie through the first hole, shove it back in to the other way, the second hole, from here, and then tighten it down. Okay, now that we're back in alignment by putting in the first zip tie, we're gonna go back and continue drilling. Again, don't worry if the plastic breaks, we don't really need it. Shove in the other zip tie, make sure it goes all the way through. Tighten it up. All right, there you go. Okay, now for a quick life hack. Would you need to cut these ends off, these tails? Never ever just go in and cut it like this. Even with side cutters or anything like scissors. What you wanna do is to take it just like that and twist. Once we twist it off, it's still gonna be tight in here, but it will never get sharp. So you won't cut yourself on these ends. If you cut them, the end is gonna be too sharp and you can cut yourself. If you twist it, it will always become soft. All right, here we go, all set. So now, the shafts of the Swiffer, shove them in. And there you go, you're all set. 